at least 65 people have died and hundreds have been injured by Monday's earthquake in China's Sichuan province, Chinese state media reported on Tuesday, a natural disaster that comes amid a rise in COVID cases that triggered a lockdown in the region's capital city, Chengdu. 1. 666 that's how many new COVID cases China's National Health Commission reported, including 185 new cases in the Sichuan province. The outbreak has been concentrated in the province's capital, Chengdu. Chengdu's residents have been under lockdown since September 1 as part of China's zero-COVID approach, and according to the Washington Post, some people were ordered to not leave their apartments while they were experiencing tremors. One building manager reportedly told the residents it was safest to stay indoors no matter how severe the earthquake is something that flies in the face of convention when it comes to earthquakes. As the city remains locked down, authorities are carrying out large-scale mass testing in an effort to stomp out the local spread of the virus. The pandemic control measures in the midst of a natural disaster has caused anger among the city residents who are accusing local authorities of prioritizing COVID measures. Sichuan was also the location of the deadliest recent earthquake in China, an 8.0 magnitude seismic disaster that resulted in the deaths of nearly 90,000 people in 2008. It has been a difficult year for Sichuan as it faced a record-breaking heat wave and drought during the summer triggering an energy crisis in the region that produces 30% of China's hydroelectric power. Factories and households in the province, which is a manufacturing hub, had to face rolling power cuts for at least two weeks amid the crisis. Earthquake kills 65, triggers landslides in southwest China, Associated Press Earthquake in China's Sichuan leads to outcry over COVID lockdown, Washington Post, 